The end of this game was a real doozy. The Cavs are up 10 with under 5 to go in the 4th against the Hornets in the Spectrum Center. Hornets aren't bees by the way. They don't make honey so this design is propaganda. Even more propaganda than Dom2K's Wiggins propaganda. Anyway, PJ Washington drives, kicks out to Kelly Oubre, and it looks like we have another controller disconnected moment as Brandon Goodwin looked at the ball and didn't follow Oubre. Oubre misses, and I swear Oubre is the only person I know who has these types of misses. I'm not dissing him by the way, but these misses that just don't physically make sense always happened with him on the Warriors. Maybe it's the spin on the ball, but that was just something odd that I noticed. Well, Dean Wade noticed it too, except he wasn't expecting the ball to fly into his face, and he steps out of bounds. Now, this is what gives Charlotte three free points. The whistle is already blown, so no shots that go up are worth anything, right? Well, Scary Terry takes a shot over here and gets touched by Sir Ed Davis on the Cavs. Now, I wouldn't want my player in the game to be touched by an opposing bench player, but the ball wasn't in play. If anything, he was holding Terry Rozier up. Hey, look at Kevin Love's smile. Love to see him smile. But he's not going to be smiling in a second. Bald ref guy gives the Cavs bench a collective tech for Ed Davis touching Terry Rozier. And you can see the Cavs go on a questioning spree. What? Yo! What's that? How? The punishment for touching Terry, according to the refs, is to count the bucket, plus a technical free throw. Four whole points out of that play. Now, I got some help because I'm dumb. And these guys basically told me that the call would have been right if the whistle wasn't blown like long ago, you know, after Dean Wade stepped out of bounds. According to this guy, Ed Davis was monkeying around. Basically the whole point of my channel, actually. Silly shit. But all you need to know is that the refs already blew the whistle before Rozier shot it, so it's a dead ball. Ed Davis probably felt more inclined to touch Terry because the ball wasn't in play. So the refs just add three points to the Hornets score, and Terry gets to shoot and make a free throw. Now, this is the coolest thing ever. The ref tries to explain things, but you can see the whole team collectively telling the ref, but he was out! But he was out! Like, by the time Rozier paused for the shot, number 45 was already coming out to make his call. He had already blew his whistle. And just like that, a 10-point game that was pretty secure for Cleveland has just become a 6-point game. Pretty good job so far, refs. But we all know every action has its equal, opposite reaction. That's a quote from LeBron. He says he got it from this old British guy who liked apples or something. That play single-handedly gave the Hornets a big chance to win this, and the refs felt bad for that. So on this play, Goodwin misses, Allen gets the board to love, and the refs call a foul on this shot. The anguish in Eric Collins' voice almost makes you feel bad for the Hornets, even though the only reason they're in this game is with the refs. Kevin Love kind of got fouled, but Terry Rozier is just so small that it looks like he was the one getting crushed. So the refs pay the Cavs back halfway with two free throws. Kevin makes the first. Gotta give LaMelo some airtime real quick. And Kevin Love makes the second. The Cavaliers end up winning, but this game kind of got screwed by the refs. Sub or Ed Davis will touch you during a dead ball. This video is a wrap.